It is episode three of the Flamethrowers podcast. I am your host, Steve Harvey. All right, so today we're going to, well, first I'm going to start off by what I've been working on. I'm working on a variant cover for volume two of Flamethrowers. It's not going to be like another magazine cover, even though I want to do another one of those, and I probably will. It's not going to be that. It's going to be something totally different, but equally as cool, hopefully. Um, that's what I'm working on right now. Obviously, trying to get into this uh, this this internet stuff a little bit more, just so to spread uh, spread flamethrowers out there, right? Obviously, I have a, a, a little presence on uh, Instagram, <laughs> or uh, as you kids call it, the gram. <laughs> I got a little presence on there, right? And uh, go check that out. Go check all, all the stuff, right? Whatever. What are we talking about today? We're talking about my inspirations. Um, we're talking about the aliens in flamethrowers we're talking about we're getting to the nitty gritty <laughs> the nitty gritty right we're talking about everything okay we're off the books we off the gritty gritty grit. all right um no we're talking about lefisans we're talking about how i like what i was not what i was thinking when i was making the first couple chapters but let's just get into it man god damn all right so as you you should probably know if you've read the first couple chapters flamethrowers was based well not based but i was inspired right i was inspired by two of my favorite things that is Dragon Ball Z, right? Goku, number one, under the sun, forever. Best character ever created, in my opinion. And I'm not wrong because my opinion is fact, right? No, um, yeah, Goku's the greatest, whatever. Dragon Ball Z and Star Wars. That's what Flamethrowers is to me. It's the perfect combination of Dragon Ball Z and Star Wars. And you know what? Back in the day, back in the butt crack of the day, when I was about a young whippersnapper, right? 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 Just a young little guy. <laughs> Just a young little fella. I actually made a comic. Like, it what? Actually, no, it wasn't a comic. It was a, <laughs> it was like a little novel, right? It was called. I can't remember what it's called, but it was Dragon Ball Z mixed with Star Wars. It's as if, I think it was Dragon Ball Z characters went into the Star Wars universe. It was nuts, dude. I had to be like, I had to be in elementary school and I made it and I wish I still had it. I probably do somewhere. I gotta find that. I gotta, I really gotta find that. That was crazy. Uh, Like it had like Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, um, probably Gohan, um, Obi-Wan, Anakin, Qui-Gon, Count Dooku, um, it was crazy, it was crazy, I can't even, I can't even explain it, like, it was nuts, and I was, like, in elementary school, and I wrote that, I mean, I did little drawings at the bottom, but, oh, man, it was, it was nuts, but, fast forward in time to, uh, current day right now looking back on stuff like that i'm like man i got the perfect like my own original story that was inspired by my well, two of my favorite things and um it's kind of surreal still to this day it's kind of ridiculous but uh yeah so plain doors is was inspired by dragon ball z and star wars put together because up until recently, I always wanted Dragon Ball Z to go more, uh, like open up more. Because I mean, they're, they're, I mean, even the Saiyans—they're aliens. Like, 
it's I mean they should be fighting other I mean uh, let's not get into that let's not get into that dude obviously I wanted Star Wars to open up more after playing like a bunch of games and yada yada and, but then I just thought man obviously this is not what I was immediately thinking about when I first started um drawing flamethrowers but this is what it ultimately became as i saw it taking shape in front of my own eyes so after i came to the realization like oh this i can just turn this into what i've been wanting to do since elementary school and uh not a lot of people know man but when i first started like this is the first flamethrowers is the first comic that i've drawn because i've drawn several Flamethrowers is the first one that I've drawn where it was actual, like, fully fledged drawings of characters, like, not stick figures, not uh, characters that already exist, and blah, 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 because I've drawn, I've, I've drew a Spider-Man comic back in the day, too, that was crazy, I think I was, I was probably in elementary school, but that was, like, later elementary school, and um, I remember getting my hair done. I was drawing it while my mom was still in my hair. That was obviously a long time ago. But... And I would show it to her. And she was like, oh, man. That's cool. Keep doing it. So I did. And then I lost it. So, um, what the hell was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, so, basically, now that I can, now that I have the whole universe at my disposal at my in my grasp <laughs> for flamethrowers I can do whatever I want right obviously the main story is about glory and star and the flamethrowers but if I wanted to make a uh, side story which I have twice I could do it and it all connects it all connects to the greater the greater scheme the master scheme it all connects to everything and it's very hard to do i'm telling you like it's it take it takes over your mind it has taken over my mind but it's it's for the better because i don't really care about too much stuff outside of flamethrowers and obviously like shows and games that i like whatever but uh it's rewarding right that's that's what we're all here for man that's what we're all doing we just want that we just want that accomplishment man right we just want to feel we we right <laughs> we just want to feel whole inside man all right <laughs> so obviously from what i'm saying lefisans which is star leo Ren, Rebecca, um, and many others. Kiyoshi. Lefisans were loosely based off of Saiyans, right? Because they use energy to transform and get stronger, blah, blah, blah. But the difference is, well, there's a lot of differences, but um, like they don't turn into giant monkeys. Uh, <laughs> when I created, like, the Lefison race. I couldn't even tell you. Like a lot of people ask me, like, where do you? How do you come up with these names, man? These names, like even like names for characters and stuff, or like a race and or a planet. I don't know. It just, I just pull it out of the. I pull it out of my brain, and I'm just like, bam. That's what it's called. Boom. I just pull it out, man. And she sucks it. It's like, um, no, I was talking to Nicholas one time, and we were, <laughs> and we and we were talking about how it's like uh, we have access to like a creative space. It's like a, it's like a, I don't know. I, it was, it was a while ago that we were talking about this, but it's like a different dimension almost. Like we could just pull stuff out of that dimension. It's like. It's like we siphon energy from that dimension and we put it into this reality and blah, blah, blah. It was, I don't know, we were 
we were it was one of those it was one of those like three hour phone calls that just kind of devolved um, um, evolved into something that it wasn't when when we first picked up the phone but uh yeah so basically what I'm saying is uh, exactly how Dragon Ball Z and Star Wars played out that's exactly how flamethrowers is going to play out right glory's Darth Vader and he's gonna look at he's gonna look at Rose and be like Rose I am your father right so let's just like take over the galaxy bruh what do you we can just do it dog like I'm, I'm not playing no more I'm not playing with him no more no obviously that is I am being a moron the story has nothing to do with anything that's ever been created it is completely original and it it takes a lot man it takes a lot to takes a lot to do it dog man like even right now like i'm kind of like i kind of stopped drawing the main story right now just so i can make sure that because i'm on the ending of this arc and i can't it has to be better than the last one and it has to mean something for the next one and it has to connect to blah 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 and everything and like it has to have to okay whew, it has to <laughs> serve another purpose after it's done and that's just it's a lot to think about like i said i want to do 400 chapters and this is this is chapter 37 and i have to do 38 39 and then 40 and these four chapters have to be they have to change the entire story without changing the entire story and oh my god it's rough yo it's rough but i love it because it's cool um anyway i'll do it i'll do it always do always make it happen i've only made it happen once so far by completing an entire story arc but i'll do it again and then the next one is going to be even bigger even crazier you know but let's talk about that let's talk about where the story is going what does flamethrowers mean i already told you where the inspiration was how much time are we at right now let me see how much time oh we got time we got time today i got time uh, so you know what flamethrowers is all about i've never like except for like close friends i've never really talked about this flamethrowers is all about uh will like not freedom i mean it is about freedom but it's about someone's will to do something and how nothing happens for a reason things happen because someone willed it not not willed it into existence but willed it to happen like someone made people make things happen and things happen because people do stuff it's a simple it's like incredibly simple but like by the time we get to like say let's say like chapter 100 right by the time we get there you're gonna be like hopefully if you're like paying attention you're gonna be like wait a second all this bullshit that's going on this is all glory's fault like if he would have just relaxed and not done nothing because he does things because that's just his personality if he if glory was a different person we wouldn't be here right now we wouldn't be struggling and 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 all this stuff that i would just i bleep that out because it was all spoilers I actually said it. So if you rewind this, rewind the podcast, play it at like three times speed. And then um, what's it called? Like get a translator into a different language. You'll, you'll hear the actual spoilers. I just I'll say it again. If glory would you bleep, I bleep, I bleep, I bleep, I bleep. So all you got to do is rewind that and like play it on like a record, like a, a, a what's it called? What's the thing called <laughs> uh, a record player, right? 
rewind it, do it real slow, like how they used to take it, like and hear the devil, like what people used to say, like if you listen to Metallica, you hear the devil, <laughs> like stuff like that. That's all you gotta do. But um, that's what the story of flamethrowers is. It's will, and Glory's will is gonna propel him to certain situations where he wants to be in and he doesn't want to be in. It's all over the place. It's going to be all over the place. Because, uh, and that's another reason why I love the fact that I started when Glory was 17. Because even now, in this current story arc, he's only 18. And I remember, like, in real life, when I was 18, I was an idiot, man! I would just, dude, I would just do stuff, right? And then I would uh, think about it later. And I'd be like, what the hell did I just do that for, man? Then I think about it again. I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. Because I wanted to. <laughs> that's pretty much like, well, Glory doesn't think about it that much. Because that's that was me in real life. I don't have the ability to lift a house over my head, right? So I can't just go out in the streets and if I wanted to cross the street at any time, I don't have to look both ways. Because if a car hit me, we would feel bad for the car. <laughs> like, well, not, we wouldn't feel bad for Glory, because Glory would be fine. We would feel bad for the people in the car. Because even without, look, okay. We're gonna, the next episode, right, is gonna be an in-depth talk about the abilities that Glory gained from being a Lepison. I don't even know, dude, I don't even know what this one was about. I don't even know. I, I couldn't even tell you. Oh, I guess it was like inspiration of why the story is whatever. I don't know. Or what, what the story is. Um, dang, man. I gotta start doing longer episodes, right? But that's a lot of editing. Yeah. And it's so crazy because my dad he like he does video editing like he could do it in his sleep dude like all the video editing i do for this my dad could do it in his sleep it's crazy but i mean he's like super smart and i'm a super idiot but um yo that's episode three dog tomorrow not tomorrow next week we're gonna be getting like a like a 25 minute episode dog i'll see you guys next week yo remember to do all that youtube stuff uh, subscribe and like and share the podcast with other people who you think love flamethrowers because <laughs> let's be real dude everybody loves flamethrowers bro um i'm getting out of here yo i gotta i gotta draw some more stuff i'm like i gotta draw stuff bro i'll, I'll talk to you guys later okay see you later